Hello guys and welcome to Gone to series. In the earlier tutorial, we saw how to customize a Beans instance using a Bean Post processor by implementing a Bean Post processor interface. Now in this tutorial, we will learn one more concept called a Bean Factory Post Processor. A Bean Factory Post Processor allows you to modify or change the bean definitions provided in the Spring's configuration XML file before Spring container instantiates any bean. So you provide all bean definitions or beans configurations in a Spring's configuration XML file. Now in future, you may wish to make a change or modify any of these bean definitions or any sort of configurations which you have defined in the Spring's configuration XML file. So question is how to do it. One obvious and state away solution is to make a change in the Spring's configuration XML file itself and you are done. And the second way is instead of modifying the XML file, you provide all configuration changes in a Java class using a Bean Factory Post Processor class. And at runtime, Spring Framework just override or apply all these changes on top of the Spring's configuration XML file before instantiating any bean. Let's go through a simple demo to see how a bean factory post processor works and in what situations you should use it and of course how is it different from a bean post processor. This is the basic demo I've used in almost all of my previous tutorials. Here I have a restaurant class which is having a welcome note property having a setter method and a greet customer function which just prints the value of welcome note property. A Spring's configuration file which is having the definition of restaurant bean. Here I am setting the value of welcome note property hi and welcome to our restaurant. So this value is coming from restaurant bean definition. And this is the test class I have written to test this Spring demo. Here I am requesting Spring to get me a restaurant bean instance and here I am calling its greet customer function. Okay, so if I run this application, what output I will get? I will simply get the value of welcome node property, which I have set in the Spring's configuration file in the restaurant bean definition. So here I've set the value of welcome node property. Now for some project requirement, what I want is, I would want to change the value of welcome node property. So one obvious way to do this is, I would make a change for the value of welcome node property here in the XML file itself. And the other ways I will write a separate class implementing a bean factory post processor interface. And there I would change the value of welcome node property for the restaurant bean. To do so, let's create a separate class implementing bean factory post processor interface. Go to the package, new class. Give the name to this class I have given here demo bean factory post processor as its name. So this class is going to implement bean factory post processor interface. So let's do that. Bean factory post processor interface. It's giving error because we would need to implement the method which is present in this interface. So let's do that. So post process bean factory method we have implemented from bean factory post processor interface. So what we'll do now is we'll modify the value of welcome node property which is there in the restaurant bean definition in this Spring's configuration file in this newly created class demo bean factory post processor which is implementing bean factory post processor interface. Now how to do that? Just to save some time, I've already written this code. So let's go through it. So using just these three statements, I have modified the value of welcome node property, which is there in the restaurant bean definition. Let's understand what we have written here. So here using configurable listable bean factories instance, that is this instance, I can modify any of the definitions of beans or any sort of configurations which I have provided in this Spring's configuration file. So what I've done here is I've got the bean definition for restaurant bean 
and with this pin definition I've got all its property values and with property values using add property value method I'm just modifying the value of welcome node property with this value so I've here overridden the value of welcome node property with this newly written string using add property value function you can modify any existing properties for any bean definitions or you can add a new one so here with the help of bean factory post processor concept you can always modify change or extend any of the things that you have written in springs configuration xml file so now what we need to do is we need to go to the springs configuration file and put an entry of this newly created class here like this so here we are telling spring framework that we have written a class demo bean factory post processor which is implementing bean factory post processor so now our demo is ready so what we'll do now is we'll go to the test class and run this application right so here we can see the output this is the modified welcome note value using bean factory post processor so here using a bean factory post processor concept we modified the property value for the restaurant bean definition using demo bean factory post processor class so the way we have modified a property value for the restaurant bean definition we can modify any configuration metadata or any sort of configurations which we have in this XML file programmatically using a bean factory post processor interface. If you observe here, I have written just one bean factory post processor class here in this application. What you can do is you can have more than one bean factory post processor classes in your projects and you can control their order of execution by implementing an ordered interface in your bean factory post processor classes same way we saw in the previous tutorial for bean post processor interface so here you have written a custom bean factory post processor yourself by implementing bean factory post processor interface now spring people have provided you with some ready-made bean factory post processors for example property override configurer and property placeholder configurer in the next tutorial, we will talk about property placeholder configurer being factory post processor. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.